In this video, I want to talk about layered architectures and what that means for object-oriented design processes. So I wrote a, a sample program here. We'll take a quick look at it. And what this does is take a, a grade as a percent and turn it into a letter grade following the principles of triage grading. And I'll provide a link in the uh, video description about triage grading for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Uh, this, is, this is basically all the code right here. Um, let me run it. We can take a look. Oops, that's actually the, uh, the wrong one. We're going to run this one. Okay, so we can put in something like 89%. Uh, we see that gives us an A. 66% uh, gives us a C. And we'll check some borders. Yeah, 34 is D, 33 is F. That's right. Okay, good. So let's take a quick look at the implementation now. Uh, we're using JavaFX, so we extend application. Uh, we have this create grade conversion scene method that generates the scene. And what I've tried to do here is follow general principles of good programming following clean code standards, um, but without considering single responsibility principle. So uh, yeah, this is, you know, this is standard stuff if you build UIs programmatically. Down here is where we call uh, do conversion. That's what happens when we click the button. And you can see we have our logic here. Okay, so what's wrong with this? Uh, well, the big problem is it violates the single responsibility principle. I think a really nice way to think about SRP, single responsibility principle, is responsibility to whom. So to whom is this code responsible? The code should be responsible to one person or one role within the organization. So the reasons why the grade tool here might change, one is if we want the user experience to be different, if we want the UI to be different. And another reason is, well, if we change the scheme itself, the, the grading scheme, uh, so that would be somebody like a business analyst or, or uh, maybe a professor who's specifying how this should behave. Those are different people in the organization. So we can say there's multiple reasons to change. There's multiple people to whom this relatively few lines of code is responsible. So let's take a closer look at this in uh, from, from the perspective of layered architectures. So a layered architecture very common one is simply model view separation. So we have a view layer on top and a model layer underneath. So that means the view depends on the model, but not vice versa. Over here, we have logic that's happening that is both model layer and view layer. So this is an example of some model layer logic, right? This is pure business logic. And this sort of thing, right? Building a UI and attaching action listeners, that's definitely view level logic. So as we're analyzing this code, that's sort of the low-hanging fruit. We can say, well, this this stuff here should be pulled out. But I want to point out something that's even trickier here. So notice I've, I've introduced a, an enumerated type here, letter grade, um, because I didn't want to use string, right? Anything could be a string. You could put anything in a string at all. So that's, that's much too broad for letter grades. There's really only five common letter grades. But here, in order to create my UI, I'm taking my model layer, letter grade, and I'm asking it for the string version of itself. So I'm taking the output from this and showing it directly in the UI. That means that, that even just this class here, or as it's used within this context, is violating model view separation, right? It's sitting, uh, it's sitting on both of those layers, and it has responsibilities in both of those layers. So what I did was I, I revised this. Let me show you the revised version. I know in some of my videos I program live, but I wanted to keep this one short and focus on the big ideas. So let's take a look at the revised grade tool app. So the startup is the same. We've got our percent field, our letter field. You know, we create the UI. Uh, we attach do conversion. And here, what does do conversion do? Well, it gets us the letter grade from a triage grade policy. Well, let's take a look at that. So triage grade policy now is purely model level this class is only responsible to the person who defines the mapping, the mapping from percents to letter grades. That's good. That means it's sitting soundly in our model layer. Okay, back over here. Now, since we have that letter grade, we want to turn that into something that we can see on the screen. And we want to do that as a view layer operation. So I have another class here called letter grade formatter. What does that do? Well, that takes a letter grade and gives us back a string. Now, you might be saying, well, what does this really gain me here? I'm just turning A into A and B into B and C into C. Well, have you thought about what happens if we add plus and minus grades? Right? If we take our letter grade and say, well, let's start adding 
b minus, or we can't actually make a value that looks exactly like this, right? That doesn't work. So uh, we can see that this, this idea of just turning the enumerated values directly into strings that are seen by the user, that's penny wise and pound foolish, right? It saves us something now, but costs us a lot in the future. So back over here, you can see we use this letter grade formatter. And if you spend any time with big APIs like the Java APIs, you'll see this kind of decomposition that there's these formatter objects whose responsibility is really to take some kind of data and turn it into something that the user can consume. Finally, of course, it's the string that goes into the letter field because that's the signature from the library, right? It, it takes a string. So once we look at this, we can see a, a new version of it now. So in the view layer, we have the, the app, which is sort of the main view class. Uh, I originally called it grade tool view. You know, it's a fine name for it. We have the letter grade formatter, and those are only handling UI issues. Down in the model, we have the letter grade, which is the enumerated value, it's the same as before, and we have the triage grade policy pulled out as a separate model. And so each of these classes now follows the single responsibility principle, but bigger than that, we're sitting in a nice layered architecture. So we can uh, separate the structure of, my, of the code here into clear view level and clear model level.